Hello, and here we are on our last video in this little series about, yes, the most, I think the most exciting feature is the uh, LTI dynamic registration. So what is it about? So um, if you go to the site administration now and we go to manage tools, and if you wanted to deploy an LTI advantage uh, tool, well, LTI advantage brings a lot of uh, capabilities and security uh, compared to LTI 1.1, but it, one thing it makes more difficult is, uh, is the actual deployment. Uh, setting up an LTI advantage is a lot of copy pasting in both in the tool, si tool admin side and the uh, Moodle side. And wouldn't it be nice if wherever you can just paste a URL and say, give me a deploy my tool. And that's exactly what LTI dynamic registration is about. So as a tool, I can give a URL to the Moodle site administrator and say, this is the URL you use to deploy my tool. And so I'm going to use here the Robotest um, tool. And uh, so there is a registration URL here, it's register. So that's a simple URL. And this URL can be as complicated as you want as a tool owner. You can actually craft URLs that are one-time usage only that you can like, create specifically for a, speci for a given registration. So the point here is that I got this email and I just say, okay, I'm going to deploy that tool. And that's it, the tool is deployed. And just close. And now you see the tool is actually been made available. And if I look at it, and I can see that from here, it's as if I had configured it manually. So as a site administrator, I can go and make any changes I want. If I want to, I can review which services have been asked for. I can make some changes. What are the, what were the privacy settings asked? And I see this tool actually ask for names, but not email. But I can I still change that if I want to as a site administrator. And so everything is set up. And once I've reviewed, um, I can just go back here and say, well, you know, this tool is fine. I'm just going to activate it. And now this tool is going to be made available on this site. So you see a simple deployment. So now let's actually see it as a tool implementer. You would like to say, how can I build that? How can I offer that? Uh, and so for this, there is a little uh, site here that explain um, how to implement that for Moodle. And so we're going to look at it now a bit more in a slow motion to see exactly what's happening. So let me zoom a bit here. So the first things we saw is that we're actually given a UR, giving a URL to the site administrator. So I'm going to delete that tool and reduce the operation. So you see that's just this URL. And if I say add LTI advantage, it opens this iframe and it goes to my tool. And the first thing to look at, if you look at the, um, at the URL of this iframe, Moodle has actually added two pieces of data. It has added the OpenID configuration, which is a way for the tool to get information about Moodle, and the registration token. And this token is going to be uh, used to actually do the registration. So that's really, if you go back here to this, that's all. I gave a URL. This URL is actually opening, opening up in an iframe. It contains now the OpenID configuration and the registration token. So I forgot to mention, but this uh, flow is, is actually based on the OpenID discovery and OpenID dynamic client registration specification, which have been profiled uh, for this use case. And this work is actually also being standardized by the IMS uh, working group. So, but back here. So now as a tool, I've received uh, the OpenID configuration endpoint. So therefore, I can get the OpenID configuration from the uh, Moodle site. So if you go back to the tool here, so and the thing the tool got here it retrieves the configuration from the platform, and this gives me a bunch of information about the platform capabilities. But it gives me the key connection points from the platform endpoints. So the uh, token endpoint, how to get a registration token, the name of the issuer. Uh, the GWQS URI, which contains the public keys of the uh, Moodle site, uh, different scopes that are supported by this platform. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically one side of the uh, of the coin that I just got from uh, LTI connection. I'm able as a tool to configure the platform. So now I'm going to actually ask to register my client to that platform. So here in the OpenID uh, configuration, there is another endpoint that's very important, which is the registration endpoint. And that's the endpoint that's going to be used for as a tool to register uh, my client. So I'm going to post now, if you go back here, um, once I've reviewed this configuration, I'm going, I may as a tool offer a UI to actually complete some registration on the tool side. The user may, by, for example, log in or 
select a few options to configure the registration. But at the end of that, when I'm ready to uh, ask to register to Moodle, I'm going to post a registration re request to this uh, registration endpoint. And this registration request to be secured is going to use the registration token that I got here um, uh, as an access token for this registration request. So if I go back here, I'm going, so I verified the payload. I got the information that cared for me to set up the platform on my side. And I'm creating the actual uh, request uh, conf tool configuration. And so again, it's based on the uh, dynamic uh, client registration from OpenID. So it contains a bunch of OpenID information, which are very important for now for the site. So it contains the tool JW key set. It contains the um, uh, redirect URIs that are going to be uh, needed for the OpenID flow, the initiate login URI. Plus it also contains the uh, actual LTI configuration. So now which message types are supported and more importantly, do you support deep linking? And do you have a specific URL for deep linking? And also the custom parameters you would like to be passed to your tool. So when this request is sent again using the access token, uh, back to the Moodle site. Moodle site is going to create a registration and return echo this uh, client configuration and reach with the client ID that's been generated by Moodle for this registration. And it will also contain the actual deployment ID right here. Oops, sorry. Because in Moodle case, there is uh, only one deployment per client. So you, that's why you can get it during registration. So you get these two information here, and now you're done. And so back here, you posted your client registration. It was a success. So you got your client ID and it had deployment ID. And now you can show success to your uh, user saying, well, your tool has been properly configured in Moodle. That's it. And now how do you go back to Moodle? Well, this is just using a little Windows post message. So your, your iframe is going to send a post message back to Moodle saying this registration flow is completed. And so that's what happened here. This is actually sending a little Windows post message up, which is going to close the iframe and say to Moodle, refresh uh, the list of tools. And so now we see this tool has been added. And uh, the last leg is actually for an administrator to review uh, the configuration. And if it's OK, then activate the tool. And so that's it for the dynamic registration flow. And you see it makes it much easier for a site administrator to deploy a tool and avoid all those errors that could happen from the copy pasting that is required uh, without that flow. And that concludes our little series on what's new in Moodle 3.10. So we just have to wait now for what's next in Moodle 3.11. Bye.